Hello everyone and welcome to One Man Stream. And today we're going to cover a new concept for One Man Stream. It's something that we haven't done before, but it is utilizing information that we have used before. And that information is in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. And you can see right here, this is a new project that I'm working on and I've just begun working on it. It started out originally, it was just going to be a scoreboard, and then it turned into a way to keep score during the ball game. And now it's morphed into a way to send graphic data information directly from this Excel spreadsheet into vMix graphics. And that's the portion that we're going to cover today. And as you can see up here at the top, I've got almost uh, 4,000 lines of code, and I'm probably only about a third of the way through it. So um, uh, this is the project that I'm going to continue to work on. And as I get more and more of it done, I will share it with you. Uh, but right now, the portion that we're just going to work on today, how are we going to use VBA, which is Visual Basic for applications, how are we going to use that to help us uh, get information into our vMix graphics. And I want to start, first of all, by saying I have not been a professionally trained coder. Uh, I'm a person that has um, a lot of patience, and so most times I can sit down and figure something out, and that's what I've done uh, with Visual Basic. I haven't taken any classes on it, but uh, there's a lot of resources online, a lot of YouTube videos. That's how I've how I've been able to grasp the knowledge that I've gotten so far. So today's episode is going to be One Man Stream episode 97, and it's going to be entitled Using VBA in vMix. So there's a few things uh, that we're going to have to kind of talk about today. And the first thing is, well, let me, let me go to the code that we're going to be using today, and then I'll come back to these definitions. Okay, this is the code that we're going to be using today. And there's some terms in here like sub and dim, and we're going to define those, and I'm going to tell you what those mean. And then these other things are actually just portions of the Excel uh, workbook that I'm using, and I'll show you uh, what particular parts of those worksheets uh, we are using. But to start off with, we're going to talk about this uh, sub and dim. So the first part is a sub, uh, it can be described as a small program within the VBA editor, and it performs a specific action in Excel. And it's used to break down larger pieces of code into smaller parts, and that's indeed what we're doing. Uh, in that, uh, on those lines of code that I showed you a minute ago, I probably have created maybe a hundred uh, to 150 different uh, macros. And uh, that is actually what we're creating when we're using this VBA editor. Uh, the second uh, thing that we need to describe is what the dim means. And a dim is a keyword uh, that is short for dimension and it's used to declare variables in VBA. And declare means that we are telling VBA about a, about a variable uh, that we're gonna use later. Let's go back to this right here. The first part is our subline. And this is what we've uh, titled this particular macro that we've created. We're uh, copy visiting player one data to vMix. And then the, uh, what we're declaring is we're declaring the worksheet main as a worksheet and we're declaring worksheet vMix as a worksheet. Well, let me show you where that information comes from. If you see down here, this is the entire worksheet. If you see down here at the very bottom, these are the names of the worksheet. So we're going to be working with worksheet main, which is this one right here. And we're going to be working with worksheet vMix, which is this one right here. And you can see there's no information in it because we haven't run that macro to bring the information into it. So that's what those first two bits of information mean. The next part is we're going to use a range from the worksheet main, and that's F37 to T37. And what we're going to do with that bit of information is we're going to copy it. So we're going to go back to our spreadsheet, and we're going to go to F37, which is right here. So we're going to start right here, F37 to T37. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this bit of information and we are going to send it to a specific part of the vMix spreadsheet, the one that the spreadsheet that's entitled vMix. So where are we going to send it to? Well, that's where this next bit of information comes in. It says we're on the vMix worksheet, we're going to start pasting it and we're going to start pasting it in cell B1. So let's go back to our worksheet again. 
We're going to click on vMIC, and this is cell B1. So we're going to start pulling that information in, and in B1, we're going to put the player's name. In C1, we're going to uh, put the data we collect for at bats for this particular uh, player. And then in D1, we're going to do the runs, E1 hits, and so forth. And we're going to be able to bring all that information in. Now, I do want to tell you that I'm using this spreadsheet locally. So whenever I'm moving information within the within this spreadsheet, I have to click the Save button so that information is going to be pulled into vMix. The way that we're utilizing this information through vMix is through a data source. And I've done several tutorials uh, regarding vMix data sources and how to add a, a data source to your vMix production. Uh, so if you haven't watched those tutorials, I suggest that you do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our main Excel layout. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this player right here, Ethan Dillon, we're going to bring his information into that vMix sheet. Well, here's the sheet. You can see we have nothing in here. So all we're going to do is we're going to run this macro right here that we created for visiting player one, and we're going to pull that information into the vMix sheet of our workbook. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click this button right here, and then I'm going to go to the vMix workbook, and you can see that that information came in right here. So now we filled in the player, Ethan Dillon, and we filled in all the information for this particular player. So let me show you the graphic that I've created, and it's, it's actually something very very simple and it's this it's this graphic right here this is the graphic we're going to be pulling the information into before we do that i want to show you in the data sources manager which is right here that information hasn't been imported yet because i haven't uh, clicked the save button on the worksheet so i'm going to go ahead and click the save button And it took it a moment or two, but you can see where all that information came through on that top line. So now we have the information in vMix, and since we have the information in vMix, it's going to be expressed in our graphic. And you can see where it came in our, into our graphic right here. So we're going to go ahead and clear the information. So this is done through another macro that we created. So we're just going to go ahead and click on this clear button right here. And it pops up this message that says clear graphic information and we do want to clear it so we're going to click OK. And you can see where it took all this information away. So when I click save, it takes the information out of the graphic. So now what we're going to do is let's go back to this. Okay, so this macro is set up as you can see for player 2. So, but the information is all the same. Uh, the code that we've written is basically all the same, but all we're doing is we're changing the, the range that we're dealing with. Now, if you remember on the other one, we were dealing with F37 to T37. Well, on this one, we're dealing with player two, and this is player two right here, Kyle Campbell, and Kyle is in F41 through T41. So let's look and see what this bit of code is. So this says what we're going to do again, we're going to set a, declare a couple variables, and those variables are going to be worksheets, and it's going to be worksheet main and uh, the vMix worksheet. And that's indeed what we did in the previous example. But this time, the range that we're working with is F41 through T41, and we just showed you that on the Excel main sheet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy that information and we're going to paste it in the exact same spot that we pasted the previous data because we've cleared that data out. So we're going to click on this vMix button and we're going to go back to our Excel workbook and we're going to click on the vMix tab and you can see where it brought in Kyle Campbell and all of Kyle's information. But it didn't come into the graphic yet, and the reason for that is we haven't clicked the Save button. So let's go ahead and click Save. And it takes a minute, but it brings in the information for uh, Kyle Campbell. Now this is going to be very helpful uh, for me once I get this done because I'm going to be able to use it in a lot of different ways. Let's go back to the main. I'm going to be able to bring in the pitcher stats because the way that I have this set up, I have it set up for the pitcher stats for each pitcher. So this is top of the first inning. The way that I have this set up, excuse me, is top of the first inning, 
Uh, the home team pitcher is his stats are right here. Well, let's go to the bottom of the inning. We'll click on bottom, then we're going to click on change inning. And when we do this, you can see that the visiting team, uh, his stats come in. And we, we've created a button. I haven't coded this button yet, but we're going to be able to send this one to vMix in a different graphic. Uh, I have a second vMix button here, and this one I haven't coded yet either. But what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to bring in, in live, in real time, a line score for each particular player. So for this particular player, uh, in the first inning he singled, fourth inning he got a double, seventh inning he got a triple, and then in the ninth inning he hit a home run. What we'd be able to do is we'd be able to send this particular line for this particular player to vMix. Now, of course, I'm going to have to make a different graphic that's going to accept this information, and I'd have to make a little different graphic to accept this information, but that can be done very easily. Uh, the graphic that I'm showing you right here uh, that I created today for today's demo, it probably took me 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes to make. I can use this template uh, for the other graphics that I'm going to be creating uh, with this baseball layout. So I hope you enjoyed today's quick uh, tutorial. It was a new subject for us, uh, VBA, which is Visual Basic for Application. And I showed you how to create a macro that you could use to export your data from your Excel uh, worksheet into vMix directly. So I hope you found this interesting. I will be coming back to this many times in the future, and we're probably going to be putting together a host sheet on this workbook uh, that we created. If you have a moment, please stop by our website. That's onemanstream.com. At that website, we have the graphics that we've created uh, within this tutorial series, along with many of the vMix UTC controllers. Uh, they're just a few dollars, but it is a way that you can help support One Man Stream. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And as always, thank you so much.